Hello everybody and welcome to Brett's Play. I am your host Brett Claxton. Today I'll be playing through the demo of FIFA 16 a tiny bit. And what FIFA 16 is... Where have you been living? FIFA is FIFA. It is football and it's the one that's been on top for most of the last few years. Um, these are all trailers from the looks of things that have already been online so I'm going to skip them. I'm going to jump straight in because it's going to be a very quick Let's Play. Well here we are. Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler, really looking forward to today's game. It is a brilliant, brilliant fixture. It's always been that way. Other factors as well as football involved in the rivalry here, Barcelona and Real Madrid. Well, what an atmosphere inside the stadium and what a match we should have. Star-studded lineups here in front of us. It's Cristiano Ronaldo against uh, Lionel Messi. What do you expect from them, Alan? Well, Cristiano Ronaldo, he is so pacey. Not many defenders can keep up with that point. As for Lionel Messi, he is just majestic when he's got the ball at his feet and he's playing little one-twos with teammates. So the main thing that always gives FIFA the edge is it's much better at its presentation than Pro Evolution Soccer. Um, or winning 11, depending on where you're from. It's got crisp commentary. It just cameras transition nicer and it just looks a bit nicer the models look a bit better but in the past the issue used to be that Pez played a lot better whereas obviously FIFA has had the edge the last few well I say few it's been going on for nearly a decade now I suppose but FIFA's had the edge for a while now but Pro Evolution it's a very good game this year judging from the demo and sorry, I just laugh to get him nudging Suarez out the way. And obviously, this looks lovely, and it's got all the branding. And if you're the type of person that likes things to look official and all that, then you'll go with FIFA. Okay, before anything gets started, I'm just going to quickly knock down the audio just so you can hear me. And also just show you some stuff. So obviously basic controls are as they always have been, it would seem. Game sense, camera, visual, audio. Da, 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 da. Okay. There we go. So that's gonna be a bit quieter and I know you'll be able to hear me. So I am Real Madrid. So it plays a lot like last FIFA and the FIFA before. Which could be its biggest weakness this year. And the goalkeepers are still flaky as fuck it would seem. Um, so I didn't pick up FIFA last year, I picked it up um, on launch for the PlayStation 4, I don't know why I said PlayStation like that, but that was, I felt last year didn't offer me enough changes to really justify it. And as I said, Pez plays very nicely um, this year, it's going to be hard to sort of divide it up. For someone like me who doesn't buy a football game every year, I'm not deeply invested into buying the same. Which means, depending on what I have more fun with the demo, will probably influence my decision. And at the moment, Pez just feels that tiny bit more free. But that's not to put anything against FIFA, like Pez has always been the more arcadey of the two really. Whereas this is very much just how FIFA has always been. As you can see, the sort of riveting nil-nil at the moment. I apologise, I would like to turn on the Razzmatazz, but unfortunately you have to have 
the Razzmatazz to be able to turn it on. Also, it's probably worth pointing out right now that I am an Arsenal fan, so if I make any major fuck-ups in the defence, just put it down to me being an Arsenal fan. Oh! Ah! Close. Lovely little cross. They're obviously panicking now. They're trying to get the ball out. Let's see if I can keep the pressure on them. Nope, I can keep moving my full back out of position. Shit. No, 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 no. I... Oh, that was a close one. Get it. Fuck me. <laughs> This is still a lot of fun, I might add. I'm, I might sound a bit negative earlier on. It'll just, it could just be because this all feels familiar, whereas because I haven't played Pro Evolution Soccer that much in the past few years, every time I play the demo, I think, oh, this feels different. And sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. This year, it was very much a good thing. And this little trainer thing's quite nifty. I mean, not for me personally, but because I know what the buttons are, I've played enough FIFA over the years, but there'll be players that haven't... Oh, fuck's sake. Um, who will definitely benefit from having a little trainer on there. Oh, go on. Come on. Fuck you. So you see, the transition, it all transitioned a bit nicer, apart from whatever that is, that's fucking dark. God, that was lucky. That was such a lucky set or miss. And as you ever know, I think FIFA calls back things nicer than Pez does. Pez always feels like it wants you to... Oh! What a goal! <laughs> what a beauty. Figured with the amount of bodies in the way, it's probably worth having a crack there, and it definitely did pay off. Lovely wee crack. Beautiful little goal. And you can see, nice transitions, all works a bit nicer. Turn the trainer off now. Now that I've realised how. Boom. Going into the, the second half. The winners. Well, not the winners, but the leaders. They're very good. So let's see if they still do the little replay thing they've done in the past. I'm just going to leave it playing manually just to sort of show you how the transitions happen in the game so they do they do this little le replay that they introduced last year and it just it helps add to the spectacle of the whole thing and some people will just skip these and have no time for it but it's definitely a plus for people who like their football really who want to experience pure football not pure well, pure football in the terms of how it's broadcast, anyway. Pez is, may end up being the better game just in terms of gameplay, but if it can't deliver an experience that feels bombastic like playing football, then it's not that good. As you can see from the stats, it didn't do very well, so I'm going to not pay any attention to them. <laughs> Tony, Tony Cruz... That didn't work. Let's see if I can get... That's another nice thing. That is what football does. It always shows replays of earlier on in the game. Let's see if I can do better with my actual initial... <sighs> Corner. No, I could not. Well, I need to be careful there not to gift it to Barcelona, which I did not. <laughs> 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 I 
I was definitely being a bit cocky there, but let's skip through these bits. I'm lucky. They're just going to hoof it out, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Definitely feeling this a lot more as the game goes on. It's definitely got a nice feel to it. It just feels much more crisp and finished than Pro Evo does to me. Pro Evo feels like a game where they've got the football mechanics down solidly, but not the presentation and everything else. Maybe that could just be because I'm not very good at Pro either. <laughs> but FIFA makes you feel good without making it too complicated to be good. Come on! Ah, I'd say... Okay, so at the moment I have the lead. Can I hold on to it? Is the question. Rodriguez. Come on, James. <laughs> oh, that was not my finest bit of skill there. Ay ay ay. Nice little tackle. That was a terrible shot. What the fuck? How did the keeper fumble that? Yet again, it would seem the keepers are fucking terrible. Could be because the default difficulty isn't very high, but that was one hell of a fumble. You have a keeper of that calibre would not be fumbling the ball that soft. <laughs> I'd better take the goal and not bring up the fact that it's probably because the default difficulty is not very high, but... <laughs> that was definitely an easy one. Good old Benzema. Why didn't you come to Arsenal, eh? Probably because you could score easy goals against Barcelona's goalkeeper. Here's on. At the end, he'll be happy to retreat into the dressing room to get out of this hostile atmosphere. Ivan Rakitic. Pique. Hmm. There still seems to be a few niggly issues with FIFA running over things and can be annoying. Oh shit! Oh, thank God. Come on, Karim. Fuck's sake, Karim. You fucked it. You fucked it, Karim. But yeah, I thought um, I'd play the demo just because it's quite a big demo. It's like four gigabytes, and you know, like that's quite a long time for some people to download. They might not want to be picking it up. Fucked it. Anyway, let's quickly see what substitutions look like in this game. So I'm going to take off Cruz for. Oh, no. Jesse, I'm going to take off. Don't know who else to take off. And let's put Varane on for Pepe. And let's put Emma Meldy on for Jesse. Okay, so let's, we'll be able to see what a triple substitution looks like. Oh, lovely shot. Oh, free kick. Yeah, as I said, in terms of presentation, everything seems seamless in FIFA. And that is definitely a big plus for people who just want to be, feel like they're playing an actual game of football. Whether or not Pro, Pro Evo may feel a bit slicker with his passing, I'd say both of them feel about the same with the shooting. 
it's going to be an interesting year for um, football games. I think Pro Evo has really realised that it's just not delivered for years now and really bucked up what it wants to do. But so, FIFA have done some interesting things. One of them it seems to be Vanishing Play that doesn't show up. You know, fantastic. The best kind of Vanishing Play. Fucking hell. Oh, imagine that's a glitch. They did not want to be in their demo. Okay, so I'm terrible at free kicks. So let's watch me be terrible at free kicks. Oh, not terrible. Well, it forced a save. It's still pretty terrible. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Panic over. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Come on. There we go. Stoke FC tactics of Real Madrid paid off poorly. <laughs> okay, I'm curious now to see what a red tap card tackle would look like. Unfortunately, I need to get close enough to them to try and get a red card. I think it's fair to say a 2 0 up in the 90th minute. Even though I've got a red card right now, nothing would happen. I'm not going to pass to fucking Ronaldo. Fuck you guys. Yeah, that was terrible. Fuck it, Ronaldo. Excellent performance from the team. The supporters know that the job is pretty much done. And they're just pissed away by the keeper. Well, they just can't get the ball away. It's another corner. <laughs> not quite a sarcastic high five there. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. A terrible bicycle kick. There you go. Solid 2 0 win. See how the end game plays out. So, in last year's. Okay, it's friendly. In last year's um, demo, it was Liverpool winning the league against Man City if they won it. So, obviously, they didn't want to show off what it's like if you win a trophy in the demo this year. See a nice presentation. These little packages also are nice. They very much work like you remember it being on TV, I suppose. They seem much better than last year. Last year they seemed a bit awkwardly implemented. It seemed like they had the idea but couldn't figure out really how to put it in this year. Transitions seem a bit nicer. Everything just seems a bit nicer, really. That wasn't that good a block. Modric, great save by a diving goalkeeper. A deflection there by the goalkeeper, and it's in. <laughs> wasn't phased by Ben. Time for Real Madrid to just tinker with the team. He's got his shot off now. Okay, so that's still, still seems a bit flaky. Obviously, commentary dipping in and out there where it probably shouldn't be. But overall, it's much nicer than it was last year. I'm sure it'd be fine for the final release. Um, as you can see, it looked very nice. Tells you stuff that happened. You can view the reek it all fairly easily if you want to see hitting the post and getting the goal. I don't because we just watched it. Player ratings, Modric was the best, which is probably fair because he basically set up the second goal and scored the first with a cracking shot outside the box. So I'm not going to go into everything that game has I've written blah, blah, blah. obviously I have not because no one fucking reads those things connecting to the ear servers obviously you can see, you can see my gamer tag there that doesn't bother me no touch dribbling very nice gameplay features very nice blah 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 very nice no ways to play so you need to stop saying new ways to play and then it'd be a case of you can play as women because it's just a bit weird. 
because that's not really a new way to play, is it? That's just, you can play as women, you're still playing football, just as a different gender, that's not a new way to play. Okay, so very quickly I'm going to look through this, 451. Get some nice players, choose a captain, pick it as Suarez, well, that, we, you know Ultimate Team. I'm not going to show you through that. I can't actually get out, it would seem. Okay, yes I can. Um, before I go though, because this is a very quick stream as I said, I'm just going to quickly show you who else is in it. So you've got Sounded FC from the MLS, you've got Borussia Dortmund from Germany. Borussia, I can never remember how to say that, so I'm not going to, from Germany. Chelsea, Barcelona, Inter, City, PSG, Real Madrid, River Plate. You know, it's not a bad team, is it? And it'll mean that you'll be able to play quite a bit of the demo, have quite a bit of fun before the game comes out and challenge yourself in various ways. Sorry, I thought I was about to sneeze then. And obviously you can change the difficulties. So let's see how high you can do it. Oh, I was on semi-pro. I wasn't on as easy as I thought it would be. So you can change it through there. And you've got a few stadiums you can play with. You can play it day or night. Yeah, you can have quite a bit of play about, really, it seems, with it. Um, I'm not going to be showing any more. I hope you've enjoyed this Brett's Play. If you have, please make sure to follow me at Brett Claxton on Twitter. Um, in fact, I will bring up the details after this if you would like to follow me. But if you're watching on YouTube, just check everything below. And yeah, thanks very much. Have a great day. I've been Brett Claxton.